Hi there, this is Doris Spencer of Library Arts. I'm so glad you're here to join me today. Today, we're going to use this wonderful book, Mouse Paint, as the inspiration for a mixed up mice clay project. We're gonna take air dry clay. We're going to use our primaries yellow, red, and blue. We're gonna mix up those colors to create some little mice, just like in our story here. And then maybe they might even get into a little bit of trouble with that color mixing as we retell the story through this clay project. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started by going over the materials in the next video. I'll see you in a moment. Let's start this project today with an actual reading of the book that is the inspiration for this project. And I just so love this book. It's called Mouse Paint. It's by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Definitely available at your public library, very popular, and it's such an art teacher favorite. Let me show you why. Once, there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. So the cat's looking around, but these white mice are blending right in, frustrating that cat. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint, one red, one yellow, and one blue. These three colors, by the way, are known as primary colors. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then, of course, when they got out, one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. You know, think about going outside after it's rained, and boy, do puddles look like fun to jump in. I think that's what the mice are thinking here. The red one stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. Can you guess what happens next? Let's see. His red feet stirred the yellow paint. I'm sorry, the yellow puddle until... What color did he make? Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. So he just created a new color using two primaries. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, do you know? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Red feet in a blue puddle make green. I think I jumped. Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until, one of my favorites, purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint got on their fur and it was sticky and stiff. Just like when you get mud on your clothes or in your hair, it's gonna get dry and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Look where they're washing up, in the cat's water bowl. <laughs> and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow paint to make orange for part of the paper. They mixed yellow and blue paint to make a green part on the paper and blue and red paint to make a purple part on the paper. But they left some white because of that cat. So here's a little sneaky place they can hide if that cat returns, as we think he might with the tail sticking out here. Now, wasn't that a great book? We're gonna use this book as the inspiration for a really fun color mixing project today using clay. Let's get started by going over the materials in the next video. I'll see you shortly. Now it's time to go over your materials. 
So the first thing you're gonna need is the base. Now you may use the brown or the white side of the cardboard. You're going to have some air dry clay that I have wrapped up tightly so that your clay will stay soft. You have just a small bag here with a little bit of glue, a little stick for glue application. And if you look inside, there's some little wiggle eyes, which I'm gonna keep inside of here because they're small, but there should be six little wiggle eyes, two for each mouth. I've given you some colorful tails and different colors. And a little bit of double-sided foam tape. Now I've put it on this great foil, which is a non-stick foil, so you can easily pull it off but you're gonna to wanna to cut this later into three pieces when you use it. So let's get started. In the next video, we will begin by creating a little base for our mice and making the mice themselves. See you in a minute. All right, we're gonna get started with the base now. Now, in order to show that we're working with our three primaries, red, blue, and yellow, uh, we're going to make some little puddles of clay paint. Now, what I like to do to help the um, clay stick to my cardboard is use double-sided foam tape. So if you have a pair of scissors, you're gonna cut it, as I said earlier, into three pieces. So one, two cuts, and you will have three pieces. And I would spread them out on your cardboard like that. You can put them, you can line them up, you can do diagonally, you decide how you want to do it. Now I'm going to take a small piece of yellow, a small piece of blue, and a small piece of red. Now we're going to be doing some color mixing in a few minutes, but not with this first step. We're going to basically make a little base for each mouth to sit on. So I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to flatten it out. And I'm going to give it some little pinches and pulls because I want to make it look like a little puddle of paint, just like the mice ran into when they were in the story. So I'm going to take the green paper off the first one and I'm going to stick my yellow puddle of paint right on top of that cardboard. Now let's make a blue puddle of paint. In the same way, I'm just going to squish and flatten it first with my fingers, and then I'm going to make a couple little pinches and pulls to make it look more like, again, a puddle of paint rather than just a circle. Just like as if you poured some paint on the, on the cardboard, this is what it might look like when it was poured. It wouldn't be all round and perfect, it would be irregular, kind of organic in shape. So finally, I'm gonna peel that paper off the third one, take my red, and I'm going to once again, pinch and flatten and pull and shape until you get whatever you think would be a fun looking puddle of red paint. And I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to flatten it right on top of there. Now, we have just created three little puddles of primary colored, quote, paint, unquote. So in the next video, we're gonna learn how to make your mice. So go ahead and make your puddles and I'll see you back soon and we'll create the mice together. Have fun. All right, next, we are ready to create some mice out of our leftover clay. So let's start with the yellow puddle. And I want to mix a color that definitely goes with that yellow. So I'm going to actually break my clay into two pieces. And I'm going to break my red into two pieces and my blue into two pieces. So you can have two of each color in order to do some color mixing. Now I'm going to make that yellow and I'm not even going to use it all because you never know what you want to use some extra clay for. I'm going to take another piece off that and I'm going to add a little bit of the red, not all of it, because again, you may just want to have fun with the leftover clay and I'm going to squish them together. And what we're going to do is see, you're going to observe how clay can mix in a way similar to paint. If you press them together, 
pull it gently to it make, makes a long stretchy shape and fold it over again, almost like you're working with slime, you're going to see gradually the color is going to change. Now first it's gonna look kind of streaky, which is actually kind of cool. I really like that look. But in this case, we really want the mouse that we're about to make to look like a solid orange mouse. But we'll have some fun using some of that leftover clay to make some details on our mouse, okay? So I'm going to keep mixing and look at that orange clay develop. Isn't that fun? I just love it. So once I get my orange pretty much completely mixed, which is just about there, again, stretching and folding the entire time, I'm gonna roll it in a ball. So I have now an orange ball and I'm just gonna shape it sort of into an egg shape. I think that would remind me of a, of a mouse and maybe just give it a slightly pointy nose. So it looks like, kind of like this. So it's like an egg with a slightly pointy nose. And I'm gonna pop that mouse right on top of my yellow paint, just like that. And the clay will stick to the clay. So you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna need any more of that double-sided foam tape. Now, let me take some of that extra yellow I had. And how about we make two little mouse ears? Gonna make one right here, coming off his head, or her head. And I'm gonna flatten this one into like a little egg shape. And I'll put it over here. And I'll hold it up so you can see what it looks like. Just two little ears coming off the side of the mouse. And we can go ahead and use a little more yellow, because again, we got some yellow left over, and make a little yellow nose for our mouse. And remember, we have some of those wiggle eyes in here. So I'm gonna take a couple out. We have six total because we have two eyes per mouse. So this is why I gave you a tiny stick. So all you need is a little drop of paint here and here, and you can get those eyes to stick. I feel like if you just stick them on by themselves, they're less likely to stick to the clay. So a little bit of glue really makes a difference. And look how cute that mouse looks. I mean, come on, this is a cutie. Now, if you have a marker, um, it doesn't have to be black. It can be any color really that you want. I'm just gonna use a black marker here and I'm going to add some little mouse whiskers, just like this. One. And two. And three. Now I have to dot on some of those whiskers because it was hard to draw on the clay, but one, two, and three. I'm gonna try to get that last one in there. There, so got a little whiskers coming off. Now, if you make a little blob with your clay like I just did, you can actually probably just take a little bit of that orange, and I'll take it off the back here. And you can, uh, you know, hide it with a tiny bit of that orange clay. And I'll just hold on to that clay for a few minutes, and I'll do that a little later, fix up that little blob. It happens when you're working. Now we can also add a little tail. So I have a, you're gonna get different color tails. I have a pink, blue, and a purple, and I just feel like the pink one, to me, makes the most sense. So I'm gonna take a marker, because I wanna give my tail a little twist, and I'm just gonna hold my pipe cleaner, wrap it tightly around my pen, slide it off, and look at that, I have a little corkscrew uh, tail that's adorable for this mouse, and I'm just gonna stick it right in the back of the mouse, and then I can reshape my mouse as needed once I get that. Now you can pull your um, ears away from the clay if you wanna make it look like they're standing up a little bit. So I'm just doing that with the yellow, and I'm just shaping my mouse back to the shape I want. So there you go, you have one mouse. 
Now for the second mouse, how about we make a purple? I love making purple clay. So we're gonna take a bit of red, a bit of blue. Now you can get a more of a blue red or a red blue or red violet or violet blue, depending on how much you use. And just fixing that ear there. And I'm going to do the same thing, that pull with a stretch and fold. Stretching and folding. Then as it mixes, I can decide if I want more red or more blue in it and continue to work. So let's see how this, this is, looks like more of a blue violet to me and I think I'd like a little more red in it so I do have leftover red. And so I like, again, to start with the two colors and then decide what does it need more of it? Does it need more red? Does it need more blue? So I'm making it more, a slightly more red violet now, just by mixing it until I get all the colors completely mixed or mostly mixed, shall we say, like this. Beautiful. Oh, that's a great purple. Look at that. Gorgeous. So let's roll it in a ball again. Let's make our little egg shape, little bit of an egg shape here, and give it a little pinch towards the nose. Now maybe this mouse is gonna be facing the other mouse, okay? And I'm gonna put it right on the clay again. And this time I'm gonna make some little red ears for my mouse. And I'm gonna make his ears standing up a bit more. Isn't that bright red pretty against the purple? And here's two ears, just like that. I also have a tail. Hmm, should I do the blue or the purple? I think I'm gonna go with the purple. And I'm gonna put it in before I get too far before I put the eyes on so I don't get it too misshapen. So again, just rolling it around my pipe cleaner, sticking it in the back of my tail. I'm sorry, the back of the mouse's body to make a tail. And this tail could come up. You could even make this one come up. And look how adorable. Now we're gonna add those two eyes. Remember, that's why I kept them in the bag, so, because these things are small and they can easily get lost. So I'm gonna do two more eyes and a nose. One, two, can you guess what color I'm gonna use for the nose? Not leftover purple, nope, a tiny bit of red. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this mouse with the whiskers. What do you think we're gonna use for the last mouse? We're gonna use, going back to yellow again, with some blue. Now, I encourage you to use slightly more yellow than the blue when you make your last color. So go ahead, get started on that, and I'll see you back with all three mice done. Have fun making your mice. Can't wait to see your creations. So here are my three little mice looking up at the viewer. Here are their tails, their eyes, their noses. Now, there's still a lot of white on this cardboard and I'm thinking I can do something like that. Well, I'm gonna, I mixed up a tiny bit of extra color, orange, purple, and blue, and I figure, hey, I can put a couple little uh, fun bits of paint in that kind of mud puddly way that we started with my leftover paint. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm not only gonna do that. I'm gonna take some of that off in order to do this actually. I'm gonna make sure I leave a little bit of that paint color behind that I made out of clay. And I'm gonna put these colors on the cardboard this is, you can do anything you want with your leftover clay. This is just what I'm choosing to do, is make little splats of clay, like little puddles. But I have some other ideas too that I think I might try out on this. So I'm gonna put a little splat of purple over here near the purple and blue. Oops. 
and just a little glue to hold it down. Now, wouldn't it be fun? I mean, you know how it is when you paint with people. Sometimes a little splat ends up over here or over here or over there. Sometimes it ends up on your buddy, on their ear. Hey, what are you doing with that green paint on my ear? And what about on the back of my orange mouse there? And maybe a little yellow ended up on one of the tails. So I'm gonna actually just give it a tiny bit of glue for that because I feel like it could resist sticking. So somebody got some paint on their tail. Well, I'll show you, I'm gonna put some paint over on your tail. And we'll put some blue paint over here and just have fun as if these mice were having so much fun they didn't even realize they were leaving paint everywhere. Maybe this little bit of blue paint is slightly overlapping this green paint here and making a bit of a mess. So I'm using a little bit of glue to hold that down. Or maybe some yellow paint got on the, uh, the back of the purple mouse. And again, it's almost like a little dot of it, but just some flicked over here and some paint got over here in the corner. And boy, they were having a good time, weren't they? With this paint, it's like a paint party that got a little out of control. Well, this is where your imagination comes in and you just have fun pretending that clay went a little haywire and it got all over your mice. So I'm going to put some more clay on the tail here with some purple. And then after you're done with that, you can sit back and tell everybody about how you created these beautiful colors, orange, purple, and green, which by the way are known as secondary colors. So you started with your primaries, red, blue, and yellow, and you were able to make three new colors with your primaries. So I hope you enjoyed this program today. This is Doris Venter of Library Arts. In the meantime, till I see you again, stay well, stay creative, and I'll see you soon.